welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, the 10th of, I was going to say 10th of Christmas, 10th of December 2018. Valley Bobs joins us. She's keen to come on the tarot table, but I think we're going to encourage her to go on the bed. She's all fluffed up for winter, aren't you, sweetheart? Yes. Do you want to say hello? Oh, you're so beautiful. Hello. <laughs> so nice. Should we put you on the bed, green eyes? Oh, she's so fluffy. Go on, then, beautiful. How's that? You find your spot. She's going to find her spot. Okay, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. In the run up to the holiday season and all that stuff. Yeah, what can I say about that? I don't know. <laughs> Mixed feelings. It's just a bit of a rush, isn't it? Isn't it, Val? Yeah, she's having a bit of an intimate wash. So we'll leave her to it. Thank you for all your tarot questions. Okay, I will compile and make a video. There was a big response to that. So yes, it's going to take me a little bit of time, but not too long. And then I will make the videos. That'll be fun, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, oh hello, mister. Okay. I'm using the Greek set today, people. Woo! Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Now, of course, Mercury is fiddling about, kind of going direct, kind of in its shadow period. It's a bit like this okay so just think of it as like that okay in the middle of the reading the eight of wands so this is some kind of movement some kind of progress some kind of communication coming in and it's a bit of a curate's egg it is good in parts okay up here the king of swords in reverse now You'll know what I think of the King of Swords in reverse. For some reason as well, and I think, and this is a tarot thing, for some reason, this particular, the mythic tarot, I find this King of Swords the most resonant for me, for some reason, in reverse in particular. I think it's because, and it is really beautiful, it's so arid looking, it's so... Um, bare, you know, it's the bare bones of it. And when it's in reverse, it represents somebody, it's supposed to represent the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And in my experience doing a personal reading, it often genuinely does. For me, particularly, it represents Aquarius. But in a general reading, it can be a feeling, it can be an institution. It sometimes in a general read just represents anybody, whether it's in terms of work, you know, if you're negotiating pay and we're coming up to January, which of course is a new year and people start thinking, we start thinking about um, money and if we're earning enough and if we're doing enough and if we're in the right place and companies start thinking as well about if they're earning enough and if they're doing enough and if they're in the right place. So there may be something to do with that kind of cropping up before you break for the holidays. If it's to do with relationship, which I think it is for some of you, it's a bit of a nice nasty sandwich. Some of you have been waiting to hear from somebody. It could be from an air sign. And true to form, I think you probably will. And you know, as well, holiday time, again, is a time when you hear from people, but it's in a slightly artificial way. You know, people come home, you go back to places. People are around who aren't always normally around in a way that they not... God, I can't speak today. People are around in an unusual way, is what I'm trying to say. So don't necessarily be fooled. I've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. Massive, massive. Reminds me of the Woody Allen film Mighty Aphrodite which is a funny film. Massive, massive Aphrodite, okay? And tiny weeny Psyche. <laughs> I love this card. I love the fact Psyche spends the entire suit of cups in a really insubstantial nighty on a lot of wet rocks and coastline. There's a message in there, okay? 
and I've said this before, don't be sitting around in a wet nighty. Some of us have been sitting around in a wet nighty and waiting and praying and hoping and all that kind of thing to hear from someone. And then as the universe often does, when you've kind of put the nighty on the radiator and thought, oh, I'm gonna stick on my yoga pants and my stretchy top. Mm -mm, I'm actually quite liking sitting here eating my galaxy or, you know, I'm starting to look around. I see other things on the horizon. This person, I sense that they may be over me and in touch they get. Or if it's a job as well, if you've kind of been looking around, flicking about on the old whatever you do to look for a job, you know, CV website things, and you've been thinking, eh, okay, you know, my skill set's not bad. I don't really know why I am hanging around in this place. I could do better is what I'm getting from this reading. And you could, whether that's with a relationship or with a job, you could do better, as my school reports used to say. <laughs> Gemma is a bit of a dreamer. Could do better. Okay, you really could. And frankly, when I was at school, so could I. <laughs> and I knew it. So, maybe you haven't been giving this your full attention. Maybe you've started to look out of the window and maybe something rather good has caught your eye. Or maybe you've just at that phase where you're starting to look out of the window, full stop, whereas before you were a bit internal and a bit hopey and a bit clingy and a bit wet nighty. Things are moving on, folks. That's what I'm trying to say in the most long-winded fashion, but I've got no other way of saying it. Could do better, Gemma. <laughs> One day, I think I'll fish out my school reports and I'll put them on the old Instagram for you. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I've got some of them somewhere upstairs in some fusty old box. Right, then we have, and this is really nice, the Nine of Cups. Psyche in the somewhat dried off nighty, you know, freshened up a little and feeling a little bit more, uh, 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 is back on the rock, but everybody's toasting it. This is a more optimistic card. Yes, there's something good on the horizon, yes, you can have what you wish for, but be careful what you wish for, really. Whether it's to do with money, job, power, whatever it is, be careful what you wish for. And then in the corner over here, kind of on her own, but I rather like the look of it, the Queen of Pentacles. She really can do something for you. This could be a friend, a colleague, um, someone you know it could even be you it's real this is real there is a sense about this and there always is with the seven of cups that it's a bit up in the air and it always was what you think is real may not be real what you thought may not be possible may be very possible are we going for don't stop believing here think we are <laughs> whenever I think that song I just get that oh that video with that guy in the yellow yellow cut off vest you know it was really tight snow wash jeans on in this rock mullet yeah hold on to the feeling yes so I took a herbal tarot but that sounds you know I took a herbal tarot on prescription from the tarot doctor, look, six of wands, that's nice. Ultimately, people, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maybe I should have opened with that, but that's not the way that tarot works. I like this. You've been through the mill a little bit, probably during the retrogrades, of which we've had two and they've been big. Ooh, you've been through the mill but you're kind of coming out the other side, but maybe not with the result you thought. <sighs> We've had this card quite a lot, actually. I'm going to do a little Treasure Island dance there. Treasure Island. Okay. I love that. I'm not going to lie. I love that. I mean, I love it whenever it comes up because it's a turtle. It's a treasure chest, which who doesn't like it? You know, who's going to say treasure chest? 
we all love a treasure chest but confetti i love confetti i probably would have gone a bit more on the glitter i don't know about you there's room for some silver glitter there but and all ecological of course but winner winner chicken dinner people i like it okay i know people have asked me to recap especially today because it's been a bit of a twisty turny thing hasn't it movement at last communication at last but while you've been waiting for that person thing institution situation something real has been growing much more healthy grapes pentacles someone who's not someone who's more colored in also while you've been kind of thinking it over whatever a sense of realism has come in and also you've started exploring other horizons looking out of the window something will come to pass of that that sounds very and lo something did come to pass but it it but it will <laughs> six of wands winner winner chicken dinner eight of wands is the base of it all treasure island the disco card i feel like and i can't really do it well, I probably could, I suppose, if I tried hard enough. It'd be so good if when certain cards came out, like a disco ball dropped behind me and just started spinning. Poppers and streamers and confetti and glitter went off, you know? Wouldn't that be good? <sighs> One day, people. Two cards. Friendship. That's what that is. That's a true friend to you and you may not be expecting it. And study. We are coming up to January and people start thinking about doing stuff. Something that you may have been thinking about may be a really good idea. Again, it's all about you. It's not about them. Any nice ideas you've had while staring out of the window, follow that bliss, okay? Nice reading, Valentine. Valley Bobs is asleep. Leave me a comment. I will have the Q&A video out soon. Check out my pick a card reading that's up. How do they feel about you? A new one of those is up on the pick a card reading playlist. Okay, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.